It's your try and true gal pal Loretta Jenkins and tonight's high season is gonna be another insty classic hissy where no dumb countries can escape my rage. Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hill, Bangelina, that faggy jet blue work. That Tea Party Delaware gal everyone done forgot. Long before and throughout and long after my hissies is dead and buried, there has been a long line of stupid and ignorant and, and, and hyper retarded bitches. And now, ho, 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 now we have reached the epic spot in history. Now, all the stoop, ignorant, hyper-retarded bitches has got a leader. None other than the Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, a.k.a. that stoop, ignorant, hyper-retarded bitch a running for the president. God, Geraldine Ferraro must be a rolling over in her grave. Bless her heart. Y'all, this ain't what the country need. She ain't the answer to nothing. 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 I mean, seriously, y'all. I mean, I might vote for this heifer if, uh, like, the local uh, Girl Scout leader got caught fingering the brownies. But not for no damn free world leader. Damn. Not even if the baby Jesus said so. Ain't, and there ain't no way in hell. Not for no, not for no teacher. Damn. Shit. Motherfuck. I mean, most people's ask me, well, why don't you ray along Sarah Palin? I mean, you know, I feel like I'm going to do a hissy on her. I'm like, well, because everybody already knows she is dipshit. That ain't no cutting edge. Y'all, we need to cut her brakes because uh, she she done had a hard life pacing up that Down Syndrome uh, grandbaby so the world don't find out what slits her kids is. Might know I'd spill my beer on the fucking paling line. Motherfucker. See? Sarah Palin make me goddamn crazy. Hi, y'all. This here is all you need to vote your conscience. This here is the top ten reasons not to vote for that Republican. Here we go. Number one. You can't trust someone who can't blink their eyes. I mean, that's why we don't let cats run for office, y'all. Number two, she a hypocrite who hates faggots, except if you marry them and make them lick your muffin once a year, you know, so they ain't bound for eternal hell and all. Number three, and this here is my personal favorite, she a cunt. Nuff said. Four is, now are you really ready for a homo first lady? I mean, come on, y'all, we just got our first black one. We need to pace ourselves here. Uh, now, number five, bitch said there ain't no global warming. Well, all I can say is she must have kept her ice inside all summers. We would have throwed her ice in that hurricane. All right, moving on to six. If we can't trust the parents of a woman who they's too ignorant to abort her in the first place, then how can we uh, uh, trust the unaborted uh, result? I mean, that's just, yeah, now, y'all, that's just logical. All right, number seven says, uh, she'd have got some beer on it. Uh, yes, she can't. Oh, cunt. Yes, she cunt. <laughs> now, now, that's got a good ring to it, y'all. See, that's important enough to, to announce twice. 
Yes, <laughs> you could. <laughs> All right. Now, on the eight, every other thing she says is a lie, apology, an attack, Fox News misinformation, and general garbage. You know, I just think her husband ain't slapping that bitch around enough. Number nine. <laughs> Fuck, this bitch just makes me want to drink more. Take me home, Lord. I'm ready. And finally, number 10. It's a known fact that radical Muslims hates women more than they hates the Bush family. I mean, come on, y'all. Let's keep America safe. I mean, I, I kind of like blaming men for all our problems. Don't y'all? Hey, y'all, thank you for listening. I, I want y'all all to get out to the polling votes. But if you're planning on clicking like next to this bitch's name, then may you kindly get into a fatal accident on the way to the polls. Just saying. That's how I see it.